Matricom were the first to bring us TV boxes, way before Google and Amazon. They crafted the very first dual core and named it the Midnight G. It was truly a masterpiece wowing the audience across the world. Soon, others became envious and stole the design and work. The MX Box was then born and took the world by storm. With a long and healthy life, the MX Box began to die. No more development, no more effort. We laid the MX to rest. But can we resurrect this box? We know we can't have Android, but maybe we can have Libra. Let's resurrect this box and show you that this box is still alive. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> So in the spirit of things, I thought I'd do a silly intro for Halloween. We did one last year and it went down quite well, so I thought I'd do one again. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, then you know what to do. You can give me a dislike, but if you did, give me a like. That would be fantastic. So this video is all about the old MX boxes. Now, these boxes are pretty much dead and buried, really, and there's really nothing really much to say about them, other than the fact that LibreLec is available for these devices, now, LibreLec's been around for quite a while for the MX Box, as well as that before then we had OpenLec as well. I've just never been able to do a proper tutorial on them, mainly because I've never had MX hardware. So the old Amalogic dual core processors uh, inside these, so that actually predates the MXQ S805. Can you believe it? So yes, very old devices. So without further ado, let's begin and let's show you guys how to install LibreLec onto your MX Box. So we're going to need a couple of things for this installation. Obviously, we're going to need our MX box, and this will be working on a number of different MX boxes with the Amalogic dual core processor inside of it. As well as that, we need a pointy thing. Like you can see that white thing just there. That will be used to actually get to the recovery menu in Android or just whatever installation you've got on it. As well as that, we need an SD card. Now, you need to make sure you don't need that SD card because it's really important mainly because these MX boxes are getting old now and the internal storage of them is starting to break down. So we're going to be installing LibreLec onto the internal storage as in just the operating system. Then we're going to be using an SD card to read and write from. This will ensure that we get as much life out of the MX box as possible because if we're going to be reading and writing to the internal storage continuously with LibreLec, it's going to break it down even further. So the SD card is just going to get around that and allow us to use a fresh SD flash storage to actually read and write from and store data. And the actual internal storage with LibreLec will only ever be read from, which means we're not going to be damaging the internal storage any further. Anyway, let's move on and let's prepare that SD card and let's go and grab the files that we need. Okay, so let's go and grab some files. So you need to go to LibreLec.tv and go to the download page. I need to go down just a little bit and then you'll see this drop down menu just here. Now find the one that says Generic Amlogic HTPC. Click onto there and then just below there you'll see this link the index post in the Amlogic section of the forum. So we'll click on there. And then for a lot of you that maybe have MXQ boxes, other TV boxes as well, this might be familiar because it's where we can download lots of different versions of LibreLec for Amlogic boxes. But what we do need to do is we need to go to the bottom. So to the Amlogic 8726MX version. And then we need to click on the community builds from this developer just here. Let's click onto there. So the first thing we need to download is we need to download a image file and it's a really small image file and basically what it's going to do it's going to prepare our SD card to be used as external storage for our data like I was saying before. So it just says here storage and underneath here it says storage.image.gz you need to download that one. I've already downloaded it and it's on my desktop ready to go. Next thing we need to do is we need to also install Win32 Disk Imager if you've been around the MXQ project for any length of time, the chances are you've already got it. You could use a LibreLec USB SD Creator if you wanted to. You can download that or Win32 Disk Imager. Again, I'm going to leave all these links in the description and you can pick and choose which one you want to use. 
Now the next thing we need to download is we need to download this zip file just here. So LibreLeck and Logic MX2 to ARM 8.0.2 zip file. We don't need the tar file because that's to update. I know it's not going to be something I'm going to cover in this tutorial. If you want to know how to update your existing installation, maybe open Rec or whatever um, on your MX box, then you know you can check out some of our other videos. I can you know bug me and I can do a tutorial on that. But we've done, covered it many many different times before. Just check out our LibreLeck videos for like MXQ boxes, etc. But you know, if you really do want me to do one, I'll do one. So what we need to do is we need to download the zip file, the latest version. You can download these ones if you want to. It just depends which version of LibreLeck you want to run. So this is the latest version available at the moment. So I'm going to download that. Uh, I've already got it downloaded. So we can go to the desktop. So I've got all my files here. So what I've done is for the actual LibreLeck file system, I've created my own folder mainly because I need to unzip this now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unzip this .zip file. So I'm just going to extract it. I'm going to use 7-zip to do that. So just extract here and it's just going to extract all the files out of that zip file. And then it gives me this. So what we need to do, we need to transfer all this onto a USB stick. Now, I've already done this, my USB stick's all ready to go, so transfer all these files onto a USB stick. You actually don't need this one just here, just transfer the recovery, this one, this one, and the DTB as well. Once you've done that, get it onto a USB stick, and that's that ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go over to this storage.image.gz. Now, we need to unzip this as well. I've already done that, and we've got this file that says IMG storage. Now, here's a good time. Plug in your SD card into your computer and then load up the program that you've chosen to actually write your image file onto. So like I've said before, you could have used LibreLeck, USB Creator or whatever. I'm gonna be using Win32 Disk Imager. So let's load up that. And there we go. So choose your device, so mine's on device H, that's my SD card just there, device H. And then I'm gonna choose my image file. Go to my desktop, I'm gonna find it, it's just here. Click open and then click write and then confirm that. It's gonna write that image to that SD card. Basically it's gonna just prepare the SD card to be used as external storage the LibreLeck system we're going to be installing. So once that's written, you can then remove the USB stick, which will have your LibreLeck files for installation onto your MX box, and then you can remove your SD card as well. And let's go over to the TV now, where I'm gonna be showing you how to set this all up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to plug in our USB stick, as well as our SD card, which we've just written that image file onto. Now let's plug it in. But first thing we need to do before we plug it in, we need to hold in the reset button, which is just in the AV port. So for some reason, my box actually starts telling me it's going to erase everything, but it's not. For some reason, it does this. I'm not entirely sure why, but if your box does this, just leave it. I think it's just erasing the internal storage or the internal data partition or something like that. But anyway, you need to get back to this recovery setup. So make sure you've got your remote handy. And then what we need to do is we just need to go down to apply update from EXT. So this just here. So click apply update from EXT. And then ignore this one, update from SD card, go down to update from U-Disk. Click into here, because this is your USB stick. And then what we need to do is we need to click LibreLeck Amlogic MX2 to ARM update.zip. That's the actual zip file that we downloaded, and we'll, then we unzipped it, and we got all those different files. And then this is the one we need to click on. So we need to click on this, and then allow it to do its installation. Now it doesn't take long, it takes a little bit of time, maybe five minutes or so. As you can see, it's starting to install the system update. But once that's done, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna leave this running now and I'll come back when it's finished. 
Okay, so mine's totally finished now and it says install from new disk complete. Now we can just press reboot system now. So just let it do its checks, its partition resizing. Sometimes it gets stuck on this screen. Mine's got stuck a couple of times. I've just left it a couple of minutes and plugged the box back in and it's just went straight to Libra Rec and everything's been fine. But yeah, this resizing storage part um i'm having issues with it but not really an issue when it just works anyway you just plug the box in and out again so once that's done you'll get to the eventual initial setup page and i'll go to that just now so yeah just about to boot into libra we are running kodi 17.3 krypton not the latest version but it's not a big deal it's still a very good version for such an old tv box so if you're a seasoned LibreLec user, you you can just go on and do what you want to do with their LibreLec installation. But for you guys who may be not familiar with it, I'll just briefly go through the installation setup. I'm not going to go through Kodi. I'm sure you know how to use that. But here is the welcome screen for LibreLec. So let's just go through the menu just here. So we could just click Next. And then we we'll click Next again. And then we can set up our Wi-Fi just here using your obviously your router log in using your password i mean if you click onto my route here just click connect and then we get this actual asking for your network password i'll just click cancel on that i don't need to do that click next again and then if you want to turn on ssh or samba even samba would be useful for updating it using the tar files again you could also use ssh for different things and click next and then click next again and that is it guys that is how you install LibreLec onto an old mx box so thanks again for watching i really hoped you enjoyed the intro to this video it was a bit silly but you know just a bit of fun for this time of year so i've actually started a new youtube channel totally different to the mxq project it's all about stories that my father-in-law has actually written i've narrated them and put them together into a video now the first story is all about dinosaurs so if you're like me or you've got young children i know my little girl loves dinosaurs then maybe you want to go and check it out i've done the first story in a series of stories about dinosaurs so I shall leave those links in the description below. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we shall see you very soon.